lot of ideas about how to do this, and a lot of innovative ideas. And one idea from uh, that John Broderick, former Chief Justice, talked about um, and is brought up in workforce meetings is offering some level of loan forgiveness to stay in New Hampshire if you graduate from a New Hampshire institution of higher learning. And I think that makes good sense. Right now, uh, we were able to work together in a bipartisan way to do a, advance the loan forgiveness for some of our healthcare workers uh, here in the state, and that's good. Uh, however, to scaling that up and, and advancing that to make sure that we retain those workers, uh, the students, uh, when they graduate uh, is really important. I also think it's really important uh, to do the kind of things to attract and retain the workforce of tomorrow that some other states have gotten to jump on us, including Governor Charlie Baker, who recently signed paid family and medical leave insurance in Massachusetts. <coughs> That's a competitiveness issue. That's something young working families are talking about. And it's an issue not just attracting and retaining the workforce tomorrow that young families are, are care deeply about. That issue is also an issue about combating the opioid epidemic. It's the number one cited reason that people don't get into treatment is because they don't want to risk their family's economic security. Not having paid family medical leave insurance to defray some of that cost so you get into treatment is so harmful to our economy, it's harmful to those individual workers, it's harmful to their families, and it's harmful to the businesses who've already trained up that worker and want to keep that worker and keep them healthy. And paid family medical leave is also important to our aging population. The worker has time to spend with their parent or grandparent. Uh, that's critical to their livelihood and their health too. So I agree with Andrew. Uh, you got to do look at affordable child care. You got to look at affordable housing. We've talked about job training and skilling people up. You also got to look at some of these innovative loan forgiveness and finally move forward on paid family medical leave. Thank you, Mr. Walensky. I know you're not feeling well tonight. Would you like to comment on this and then perhaps be excused if you're not? Yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Uh, so just a, a brief comment, uh, adopting most of what Dan just said. Um, I would try to also replicate programs like the ATAC program in Rochester, Advanced Technology Academic Center. It's a program designed for high school graduates. You can get a GED as well. It gets you started in advanced manufacturing of composite materials. You then have a job waiting for you at Albany, Sabran, and BAE Systems. You go start the job after four to six months training program, and then your employer pays for the rest of your associate's degree. So you take out a lot of that cost, and you get into the workforce in a well-paid job right away. And then if you're interested, and you have the, the right kind of, of uh, aptitude, you can then turn that into a bachelor's degree sometimes with the employer deferring, uh, deferring your costs. So with that, I would indeed beg off, and I, I appreciate your allowing me to Thank sneak you. away. Thank you for coming, Mr. Walensky.